was not uh, really gifted on a physical point of view and uh, I became uh, a big fan of martial arts but then I was with my uh, father on vacation I was uh, 13 years old and he took me many years in Monton and then a uh, couple of years later uh, the uh, Jimmy Dean of Asia came in that's why I called him because he was bigger than life and uh, I was in a city called Monton it's a city just between uh, it's the last city uh, between France in the south of France and Italy and uh, he took me to a theater and we saw a movie called Enter the Dragon. And, uh, you know, being with your father, watching a movie about martial art, and I saw that guy on the screen was like a phenomenon because he was the first Asian figure in uh, the uh, martial art uh, uh, world was well built physically, who did have amazing presence and um, I was just amazed by his movement, by his way of moving, by his way of uh, communicating with the audience, his uh, fresh style of doing those moves, was handsome, was just the uh, perfect weapon for me to go even further. Understand something, after that, um, I grew up with him, he was in my room, uh, his posters was all over the place and he became a, um, a, a goal for me, an achievement to go somewhere higher. And he became for me like a sort of a goal for me, an achievement to become better and better. So basically he was like kind of my mentor. Of course my teacher, my friends were there with me, they were like training with me, my teacher was my mentor, but Bruce Lee was somebody who was far away but close to my heart to become what I became today. He was also powerful on the screen in terms of acting, but also in terms of fighting. He was not doing the uh, hap, 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 hap. He was just like, bam, that, that explosion, that something very unique, which you can see some traces of it in Bloodsport. So when I saw the movie, I was completely like in out because I saw something completely different. I've seen some Kung Fu movie before, um, but Bruce Lee was, also great as an actor. Um, he believed his own way of, of fighting, he believed his own way of acting, he believed his own... Even though Bruce Lee made those low-budget movies with simple story, uh, it was so intense that he made the movie. Um, you know, you need, you, today you need a good script to become successful, but with Bruce Lee, the script was following him. Uh, that was his power and his techniques were avant-garde in terms of uh, combat, you know, he was like uh, advanced like we see today those MMA fight, he was doing projection, he was doing keys, he was doing everything, what he was really completed. Um, um, he grew up with me in my heart, um, I was shocked when he died because something was missing in my heart. I think it, it really helped me to become what I became today because 20 years later, the Jean-Claude Van Damme wave came in. And I found my own style, but, but he truly helped me to become what I am today. And, uh, you know, people I always make fun about uh, Asian people, they have not enough power, they're not this, they're not that, because I knew Joe Lewis, Bill Wallace, and all those fighters, uh, Dominic Valera. But Bruce Lee was just a, a, 
a, a mountain of power, a mountain of charisma, um, a mountain of generosity, and he play in those movies where he, he always saved the situation. And what was nice about Bruce Lee, he was always kind of a, a virgin. He was never involved into a love story. He was always very proper and clean to the audience. Because of his physical condition, you know, when you saw the movie, I believe it was Big Boss, when he got, you know, many shows back, I said, wow, that's the first time, you know, it was Tarzan, it was Charles Bronson, but he was the first guy to be the Rambo of, of, of Asia because when he took his shirt and he was cut and everything, it was just like it was just a phenomenon. And I'm proud that uh, I'm able to talk to him uh, in front of you, the audience, and I'm proud to tell you that Bruce Lee will always be the one who grew in my heart and I'm proud also to tell you that um, that it's good for a movie star to admit to have a, a, a person, a persona in front of you, a person to look at to become better than better. So I want to say thank you to Bruce Lee, I want to say thank you to his way of fighting, I want to say thank you to his acting, I want to say thank you to his beautiful, of, I want to say thank you of, of, to nature, of how his face and his body was put together, his emotion, he was just the only one who was the only one. So again and again, Bruce Lee, thank you. And this is coming from my heart and soul. And you made me a better person in the world of martial art and also in the world of being just human, a normal guy. Thank you to family. Thank you, Bruce Lee. Thank you to Asia.